part of right. you know the colors and why not embrace that but like you said I think we all go through a period where we're like growing and becoming our own um, but it's so important to encourage our kids to embrace who they are um, right and for me the only person that I could identify with girl was Selena Quintanilla <laughs> The only Selena yeah. that I know. I think we all did. I think yeah. we all did for the longest time. But, you know, it's funny, though, because, like, the movie Selena, when you think about the movie Selena, like, it was played by a Puerto Rican woman. Like, yes. you can't see that you couldn't find a Mexicana or a, a girl from, you know, that was Mexican-American to play Selena. You know, and, and I get why they do it. You can read the stories about why the Quintanilla has chose Jennifer Lopez, but it's like, when you think about the beauty standards that you place on people and that you, you know, have to look a certain way to play a certain person, then you take away the impact that you have as a person of color to play your own roles. And, you know, I have a lot of friends who are actors and producers and directors and stuff like that now. And that's a whole other conversation, too. But <laughs> I think that I, I have so much hope for the future because we're having these conversations and people aren't taking offense to them anymore. They're actually sitting down and saying, you know what? I never thought of it that way. And I think that when you do it in a in a gentle way and not as this overbearing, like you're going to accept what I say. But when you do it in a gentle way and, and it comes off as educational, um, you're going to change some minds and some minds you won't. But even, you know, even if you get to have people just put their thinking cap on for just for a second i feel like you open that door to community and that door to allyship and i've been so grateful to be in this space and 